Hi, good afternoon. I'm uh, just quickly trying to make a video here. I'm not feeling too, too good today, but I wanted to speak to you because I was asked to. And I was asked to reveal to you something that you should start taking a look at. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what's happening on Earth, as you know, or maybe you do not know, that there are cracks that are taking place on a continental basis. We have the continental divide here in the United States, which goes up the U.S. and it ends up at a place called the Triple Divide in Montana, located amongst the Blackfoot Indian. Now, there are continental divides where the continents have come together. Now, when did they come together? So here's the equation, is that when you read in the scriptures that Jesus was crucified in a very specific place, but yet nobody really knows what that place is, or that he was placed into a tomb and they have created a location that they believe they always leave that open, that was his tomb. It wasn't. The tomb and the mountain by which he was crucified doesn't even exist in Israel today. It's at a different location, and I'm going to make my point. It's at a very different location because it is on this coast here. Now follow me here for a second. The Joshua Tree in Joshua Tree National Park in California, if you check the composition of the soil, and the trees themselves and the rest of the shrubs and the uh, the rest of the plant life around that area you'll find that that plant life plant life and the composition of the soil exist in two places it exists in Jerusalem and it exists right here on the west coast of the United States the land that we have here and the protected territories within the United States when you see that Yosemite is a very very large protected area but yet you're only allowed to visit a small portion of it that's because things have been hidden from your purview things that have been hidden from your view that they do not want you to see that would prove that this land has existed in different places your eyes are continually pushed to the east and that's called the Middle East well but understand this is that where you think the maps exist today is not where they existed 3500 3600 years ago because this land shifts based on the frequencies and the pulls that are taking place with them uh, on this planet right now because the celestial bodies that are attaching themselves to this planet are pulling her in lots of different directions and this land moves beneath your feet which is why scripture talks about mountains being laid low the faith that Christ was speaking of when he said if you have enough faith you could say to that mountain get up and get out of the way that's a literal sense and a spiritual sense. In the literal sense is that when you know the things that he knows, when the things that have been revealed to him as they've been revealed to others and as they've been revealed to me, you'll know where these locations are because it's been spoken to you. And so I could tell you that when you look at Joshua Tree National Park and you look at Israel and those are the only two places those trees exist, you're going to begin to understand that the San Andreas Fault and that whole section all along California wasn't always there that it was at another location on this earth so as these things get revealed and the land does move all governmental bodies will be rendered useless because all of a sudden you're going to know that they've been lying to you and more importantly you will know that they are powerless and you will know that there is a power far greater than them and then they will collapse because you will now recognize that although they've tried to convince the whole world that they can handle everything and that they've got everything under control, that they don't. Now, they've been battling this and they've been planning for this battle against the celestial bodies and that of who is who, which is coming. So the D-Wave computer and um, all of the computational power that is behind that, as well as CERN, was intended to try to battle this and what they're doing in scorching the skies and all the chemicals that are suspended up there. All of this is not just a cloaking device, but it's also a defense mechanism. But unfortunately, all of this that they've done is foretold. And what will happen is, is the works that we've done in trying to protect against this and our little arrogant minds will end up incinerating the surface of the earth, which is why the earth is saved up for fire, as scripture says. Now these things might defy your mind and you might think of them as science fiction, but I promise you right now that will be the worst understanding that you will ever have in your life because everything that is spoken of in scriptures will come to pass. I guarantee that. 
and you don't even have to believe my words. When I tell you that it's irrelevant whether you believe me or not for me, that it's only relevant for you, this is what I speak of. Your salvation is not in preparation in the desert or in the mountains and placing yourself in the rocks because scripture tells you that that won't help you and that your gold and your silver will do nothing for you and that the wealth is will, wealth that you have will do nothing for you. The only thing that is gonna help you survive what is coming is your faith and your spirit within your soul and understanding who you are. Because as these frequencies change, as you've seen, the earth is gonna begin taking on an entirely new shape and the land will be moved underneath your feet. And in Africa, you see the continent cracking that crack is just the beginning. And the earthquakes that you think are strong today are nothing. What is coming upon this earth and what will happen will shatter everything that exists today and the famines that will happen as a result of it. So when I talk to you about being concerned about the things that are just irrelevant, you begin to understand that once these calamities come upon the earth, you're gonna recognize that salvaging your bird isn't going to be important. Salvaging yourself, your soul, is the only thing you need to be concerned about. Now as this land begins to shift even greater and it's going to, you'll hear those trumpets like you've heard in Hawaii. You'll hear those sounds. That's all resonance. That is literally the sound of this planet being pulled into pieces. And when the planet does finally shift back to its original place, back to its original movement. All of the land that used to be in other places will be back to where it used to be, where it was intended to be. So you will see the likes of land off of the coast of California and the San Andreas Fault. It will move back to its original place. Now think about that. What kind of force could move that land back to its home? When I tell you time is short, I'm not kidding. But when I tell you time is short, I'm also speaking of years, but not many. And so now you're starting to grasp and understand that preparing your soul and preparing your spirit for this isn't such an easy task. Don't spend too much time on trying to figure out details. Once you understand something to be the truth and you've seen enough, move on. Grab another piece. Solidify yourself in these truths because time is short. Stick with me. I won't lead you astray.